right. Hey, what's going on, everyone? What's going on? Welcome, everyone, to ADSR. Just waiting for people to join in the live chat. Shouts at door. How are you doing? Oh, I have, just have to chat my camera. Uh, it just froze for a moment here. So just give me a moment while we wait for people to join in. All right, guys, just give me one second. I'll be right back. My uh, streaming software seems to have froze for a moment. So I'll be right back. All right, seems to, seems to be back again. Let me just fix my camera. All right. What's going on, everyone? Thank you again for joining in to ADSR. My name is Stranger, and I'll be your host for today. And we have a special show today. So uh, we a bunch of plugins are on sale today on the ADSR online shop, and the sale will be going on until April 7th. And tons of really cool plugins, sound packs, and classes will be all on sale on ADSR, up to 90% depending on the product. So I encourage you guys to check out the ADSR online shop where you guys can browse through the different sales. I'll be showcasing, I'll be showcasing three particular plugins today. And they are, which uh, the first one, which you see here, Chromophone 3, which is Applied Acoustic Systems, uh, one, one of their latest plugins. And we'll talk more about this in a moment. And then we have Smart EQ, which is Sonable's AI-based EQ platform. It's a really neat little plugin. I'm excited to show you guys how I would use this tool. And then we have Trap Drive by DigiNoise Software. This is a distortion plugin. And actually, it is going to be available as a free gift with any purchase of a plugin on the ADSR online shop. So if you purchase anything throughout this month, you will receive Trap Drive as a free gift. So that's an added incentive to check out the ADSR online shop. As well, there's a bunch of packs available uh, this week. So we're calling it the Spring Sale. So there's a different pack for different styles and these actually contain six packs. So the one I'm gonna be showcasing today is the Lo-Fi pack, which contains uh, these six particular packs, the experimental lo-fi sounds, lo-fi bliss, mellow reels, melodic lo-fi, remember lo-fi, and hello fi. So lots of lo-fi samples there, all in one pack, and it's available for just 20 bucks, which uh, regular would be for, for $145. So you're getting a big discount here. So if you're into lo-fi, then that's the pack to check out. Uh, Otherwise, there are some other packs that may be of interest to you. There's one for pop, hip hop, retro. There's a vocal pack. There's a chill pack, guitars, trap, and a bunch more. So once again, check out the ADSR online shop. Links are in the description for you guys to check out as well as in the chat box. So check it out. Tons of cool offers here. Tons of cool sales. And once again, I'll be showing you these three plugins, Chromos Phone 3, Smart EQ, and Trap Drive. Shouts out to everyone in the chat. Let me know how you guys are doing. Where are you guys tuned in from? All right, I'm gonna pump it, bump up Ableton. And yeah, we'll, we'll just start by, uh, well, I think what I'll do is we'll just 
play around with a couple samples from the lo-fi pack and then we'll pull out the plugins just just so we have something to vibe off of so i pulled a couple from the uh, melody pack i'll just show you the melody pack here believe it's this one here yeah let me just move my camera back up so yeah lots of cool um, melody loops in this pack so the sound tree melody lo-fi pack <laughs> So what I like about this pack is they have some really organic sounds which you can use for hip hop, lo-fi. I would even try experimenting it over liquid drum and bass or even if you, you, you don't make any of those styles, you could layer one of these samples for an organic texture over your track. So pretty cool soundscapes here. Shouts out to Janeth Jonathan. Big up the Israel crew. I had a couple that I picked out last day. We'll see if any of these uh, I'm vibing off of. This is a nice moody one. We may come back to that. I do like that one. I uh, just want to see if there's anything more uplifting because we did a pretty moody beat last week. I want to change up the vibe. This one might be cool. I'll make this purple. And then I got some drums from the lo-fi pack as well. I just selected a couple that I liked so we can just... Uh, start writing a sequence. Maybe I'll just move the camera down here since we're moving the, the screen up and down. Okay. So what I like about these lo-fi kicks is once again, it sounds very organic. There's almost some texture to it as if it's coming off an old record. Gives it a little more soul to it. I'll try this one. So we're going to go for a lo-fi hip-hop kind of vibe today. So probably work at a slower tempo. Although I can also work on it in halftime. Yeah, why don't we go halftime? So we will stay 170 beats per minute. And then... It's already giving a cool vibe. But I think I want to make it a little more funky. Let's make it. So if you're working at halftime, I'm at 170 beats per minute, which would mean we're at 85 realistically. So, which is a common tempo for a hip hop.
slow it down a little bit. Maybe bring it down to 160. A little bit faster. 165. Anyone in the chat room into lo-fi hip hop? Comment. It's something that I like putting in the background. It's non-invasive. It's nice music to read or meditate to. a bit of groove to this make it looser for that hip for that groovy lo-fi feel so i hit on groove on ableton and then you can pull out some of the uh grooves yeah something funky like that and so this adds a bit more funk to your rhythm right So then we just choose a groove here. Now it's important to apply the groove to everything. So we're using the New York groove. You can hear the groove more in action if you slide a hi-hat all the way across. This one's probably on 16th notes, so you're going to have to change the bass. So under the groove pool, since I'm using eight, I'm on double half time. We're going to change the bass to one eighth here. I wonder if we, yeah, maybe we have to, yeah. Let's try, let's go through all of these, see which one is funkiest. So let's try hip hop. Let's try loose flow. Okay, they're all a little more subtle. We can try something a little more um, drastic. There's some grooves here that are a little more harder with a harder <coughs> swing. <coughs> the MPC ones. Something like that. what I want. <clears throat> Maybe we should just go regular tempo. Yeah, that's what I want. Interesting that if you go on one eighth, it's not working the way. Is it working? Yeah, I want it on. All right, we'll just go 16th. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I want. That's that's kind of cool. It's kind of like a chopped and swing beat, which isn't what I intended, but we can use that as a breakdown. What I really wanted was. Yeah, now we have that New York kind of funk. And we don't need the hi-hats like that. I was just putting it there so we can hear the rhythm. In fact, what we can do is add some velocity to the hi-hats, so every other one. Here's a cool trick. There's this D button on the far right. You can add a delay so you can make the hi-hats come a bit later or earlier if that's what you want. So to add more to that loose kind of vibe. So let's try bring it earlier. So negative, the neg negative milliseconds would make it. That sounds kind of cool. What if it's later? Yeah, earlier is better. Shouts out to Ani. Thanks for tuning in. Feeling the vibe there. Let me just save that. I'm thinking maybe I should show you guys the uh, the smart EQ. Now that I have some drums together, and I can group the drums together. We'll call this drum bus. Then bring up smart EQ. So this is really cool. The, the way this works is you're going to have to scan your audio material. And there's this record button where you can, it reads the audio material that's being played into it. And then it's artificially and our AI based algorithm detects what frequencies it needs to create more tonal balance, so to speak. So I'm going to hit play on the drum bus and hit record. So notice now it provided this recommended EQ curve for my drum bus. To have more balance. Right? And then you can control how much it is being applied. So this green curve here. This could be misleading. It's not representative of the EQ curve. It's more representative of the strength of this white line here. So the lower this goes, the less intense that EQ profile provided, the higher, the more intense, right? width so this controls how wide is the range of that EQ curve so you can limit it to a specific range or you can cover the entire range of your drum track I'm 
I gotta let this play for a moment. I just need to grab some water. My voice is a bit raspy this moment, so give me a moment. I'm gonna play this beat while I get some water. So this is a really cool tool to help you with your mixes. Am I going to make any jungle? We'll see. Maybe I can switch this into some liquid drum and bass jungle vibes. Um, the option is always there. I just first want to get through the content today, get through, show you guys the plugin. I can always layer a breakbeat over for all you junglists. Comment in the live chat. Let me know if you're a drum and bass fan. We'll see how many drum and bass fans there are. And just a reminder, we're giving some plugins away for free as well as the sound pack. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you guys instructions on how we're going to run this draw. So let's hear it without Smart EQ. So it adds a little more presence to the drums and creates a little more balance there. Shouts out to the drum and bass fans in the chat box. It's a really cool plugin as well. You can choose the spot. So I was just using the standard profile. So you could choose different profiles, for example, drums, and then it could better analyze the source content and provide a better curve based on the source content. So if you want a more specified EQ curve, then choose the correct profile, which I skipped. Um, I guess it changes based on, so it is retroactive. Yeah, sounds good to me. So this is Smart EQ. Let's move on to Chromophone, which is the next plugin. Bringing it up. All right. Oh, here we go. So this is a very interesting instrument. It's one of the most unique instruments I've encountered recently. It is a synthesizer, but it works differently. It's based on physical modeling. Essentially what that means is that it simulates real world soundscapes and textures. <clears throat> and this is a two voice instrument, meaning you can combine two different sounds to create new sounds. So we have A and B, which are the different layers here. I'll just go through some of the presets here. So this is, this creates more organic sounds, which is uncommon in many synthesizers and why I think this tool is very unique and fun to play with. It is a bit more complex in terms of understanding its algorithm. It takes a, there's a little more science behind it because it is based on physical modeling. But once I show you the basics, I think you can figure it out. Lo-fi jungle. That's totally possible. I'm good. Why don't we challenge ourselves today? So these sounds are more percussive, meaning it has that attack, kind of like, well, marimbas, um, xylophones bells, th those kind of things that have a bit of an attack. That 
That is true. A lot of 90s jungle is lo-fi. So yeah, there's some really cool sounds, <clears throat> very realistic sounding. You can also browse by category. So now we can check all the mallets. There's mallets, plucks, keys, effect sounds, drum sounds, strings, synths. So a wide variety of sounds that you can create with physical modeling. So with physical modeling, you can get a lot of textures that you couldn't with regular, I guess, uh, subtractive synthesis. It's a totally different style of synthesis. I definitely encourage you to add it to your arsenal. Check out the choir sounds. Cool. So I'm gonna try to create a sound from scratch. Now, I'm gonna challenge myself here because I've only tried this plugin um, once. I did some practice yesterday and did some research on how to use this. So we're going to challenge ourselves to figure out how to use this plugin and make a sound from it. Now I'm just wondering how do I, if there's a way to get a default sound. Uh, if not, we'll just start from, I guess. If not, we can just build off one of the uh, presets. Yeah, we can just do that. Yeah, we'll just go into the editor. So right now, only one of the voices is activated. If you want two layers, then activate B layer. Well, we'll just keep one for now so I can walk you through how to use this. So the main engine is in the synth section and the bulk of the work is done with what's called a resonator. Now there's two resonators here. Let's just enable one. Essentially it would be the equivalent of a oscillator with subtractive synth. Except with this synth, since it's using physical model modeling, it uses what's called a resonator and you have a number of different source material which you can use to build your sound. And each one of these has different characteristics based on real life sounds like drum heads, a membrane, I guess that's the skin of a drum plate, closed tube, and then partials. I guess this just means partials of sound material. And I guess there's four different partials. I guess that would relate to harmonics, right? So the more partials, the more complex the sound. Well, 
Let's stick with some of the basics ones. Let's try marimba. <clears throat> so how the resonator works is it reacts to something hitting the, re the resonator. So you have t two types of contact with the resonator. There's a mallet, so that's like a almost like a drumstick. A mallet just has a softer head to it. So there's a mallet, or you can hit it with noise, which would be more equivalent to a hard surface hitting the resonator. Oh yeah, that's another way you can think of this. The resonators represent a surface in the real world, and then you hit that surface with either a mallet or a noise. Noise would be just something hard, like a piece of metal or wood or something. So it has a harder attack. And this is the... I guess this is the base or fundamental frequency of your mallet. This knob here. So you can add a bit of mallet and you can add a bit of noise for attack for that high frequency. And then you can add some color. Over to the left here, you can affect the frequency of the noise, resonance, and density. Then you have your regular envelope and LFOs here. So if you want longer sounds, then you want a sustain. I want a more of a bell sound, so I'm going to bring the sustain down. Now in the resonator section, this is where it gets interesting. You can play with how the resonator decays. <clears throat> now this will be a mo more fun if we have a melody, then I can walk you through these parameters. So I'm gonna write a melody with a chromophone. So we're working on B flat minor, which is B flat minor, which is really a sharp minor. I'm going to cheat a little. I'm going to use scale because I don't know A sharp minor. Shouts out to anyone with musical theory in the chat box. Shouts out. Let me know who has musical theory out there. I do. I have more. I mean, I'm always improving. There's certain scales that I don't know off by heart. So this is a, a good way around it. So just pull in C minor. Well, I guess you guys can't see that. Let me just show you. So I have scale here. I'm choosing the C minor harmonic. I'm choosing the bass as A sharp, which is the same as B. So it says B flat minor. B flat is the same as A sharp. So now all my keys will be mapped to the right key.
Big up, Ani. What's your favorite musical scale? So it's too high, I'm gonna bring the octave down. some notes I can show you some cool stuff with the chromophone and so you can set how the resonator behaves based on the key so there's key tracking here so you can adjust how the resonator decays with regards to the lower notes and the higher notes so the way I set it now the higher the key the longer it takes the resonator to decay so you get those longer notes at the top remember the melody we have here is going up the scale so as it goes up the decay lengthens based on this this um parameter here now you can do the reverse where the low keys decay longer so just make it a negative value That was really cool. So this is the hit position where are you hitting the surface of the resonator? Because that will that will have an effect on how the sound resonates, right? Let's say you have a drum drum like a snare drum. If you hit it in the center, then all those frequencies it's the optimal place for the sound to resonate. But if you hit it on the side, then certain, I guess, harmonics are muted. So this affects where you're hitting that surface. Now the material, uh, I believe this is this also re relates to decay. So, so if you have a harder surface, right, then the decays will respond differently. Where the high frequencies will decay. So material is very important here. So material relates to the frequency content of the resonator, whereas this relates to the key tracking. It's very, it's different. It's a very subtle difference, but this relates to if you have a higher material percentage, it means the higher frequencies of your source material gets a longer decay. Whereas tone is the the amplitude of that frequency as it goes up. So those higher frequencies are quieter now as the tone increases or the lower tone is lower. As you bring it down, then the lower tones are louder. And then you can layer it with a second resonator so this will create more complex sound. So notice this icon here. So, so how this works is A resonates the sound of B. So you have a serial connection. So this is this is some mind-bending physics here. Shouts out to Ambedo. So adding, so resonating the marimba, you can, so the way you can think about it is you have a marimba and let's say, honey, I shrunk the kids. Now you're like really small. You can walk into a closed tube like a xylophone and you can bang that marimba and it'll resonate in that closed tube. That's the way I would think of it. 
So this sound is resonating B. So you get some interesting results. I don't know the sixth diminished scale. That's some pretty advanced stuff. I'll have to look into that. The bebop scale, eh? Do you play jazz on the... And then in the effects section, we can add some EQing if desired. Let's add some reverb to it. This is a bit loud, I'm gonna bring it down. Yes, and it is 50% off in the spring sale. So if you're interested in grabbing any of the plugins I'm using today, check the online shop. Uh, links are in the description as well as in the live chat. And we are giving away some plugins. So why don't we start with, so we're gonna give away as two separate giveaways. So what we're gonna do, the first giveaway, we're gonna give the Chromophone 3 plus Let's actually start. No, we won't go there yet. We'll start with Smart EQ. So that's this plugin. Smart EQ as well as the Sound Pack and Trap Drive because Trap Drive is provided as a free gift with any purchase. So you're going to win three, three prizes. So a Smart EQ, Trap Drive, and the Lo-Fi Pack. So that's the first giveaway. And to win... I'm going to ask everyone to post a red chili emoji and then someone from ADSR is going to randomly select the winner. So first, first prize, Smart EQ, <coughs> the Trap Drive, which I haven't shown you guys yet. I'll just pull out Trap Drive so you guys know what it is. and the sound pack. So this is Trap Drive. It's a distortion plugin with a couple parameters. Oh, that makes it nice and crunchy, sweet. Oh, that's, that's, that's quite nice. Guys, you can get this for free if you buy something from ADSR. Do some gain staging so you guys can hear the before and after with with a proper comparison. Oh, I always like to do that. So bring out a meter so I can get the right level. gain thing actually changes the gain. Let me, uh, maybe I should put this here. This output thing was misleading, so it decreases as you increase the output, and that's what I wanted.
I got it to the same level. So sometimes with distortion and saturation plugins, which is why we use it, is that it adds, it almost makes things louder without actually adding any gain to it. So here's without, so I, let me just uh, bring back another utility so I can bring the volume back up. <laughs> So this is without trap drive. And with. So it adds a little more warmth and saturation to the drum bus, makes it sound a little more lo-fi and adding more presence without actually increasing the gain, which is what I like about saturation and distortion. Let's see if we can add some bass to this little composition here. If we have time, maybe we'll add some jungle to it for all the junglists. I know there's one junglist in the live chat right now. This is a lo-fi pack, but the bass signs almost sound like drum and bass. Uh, bass loops. I don't know if these are minor, so I don't know if they'll work, but let's just, out of curiosity, so that's playing a... D, which is one, two, three, four notes above. So transpose it by negative four. doesn't work. So. It kind of works. I'm just so curious what happens if we add some RC20 to chromophone. Since we are doing lo-fi, it is called for. Shouts out to anyone into RC20. Add a bit more vinyl noise to this groove. up to everyone that's posted a red hot chili in the live chat once again we're giving away smart eq trap drive as well as the lo-fi sound pack yeah love rc22 it's just the secret sauce although it's not really a secret anymore all right all right for all you junglists we'll pop up a breakbeat in here I 
has to be the right one. So you got to give me a moment and find a nice aim and break. Since we're at 90 beats per minute, I got to sequence the amen in double time. I'm going to mute this beat. be a bit louder I think we need to apply some smart EQ on the Amen add, add a bit more balance to it so once again smart EQ is an AI based EQ platform really nice way to add some balance to your mix it adds a it acts as an aid for you right so once again choose the profile it is drums and then hit record and then it provides a suggested EQ profile once again you can adjust the intensity of that profile with this green dot as well as the width of that range So this is without it. And with. So notice how there's more balance now. Before there was a bit too much highs in in the amen. It almost was a bit piercing in the ears, a bit too crispy, but adding the smart EQ, it provided a little more tonal balance. Bit more meat and beef in the amen too. I'll turn it off. Oh, so much better! Wow, this this tool is quite nice. I'm gonna have fun using this in my productions. I had no idea my aimin was so off and this is one of my aimins. That sounds so much better. Sweet. Shouts out to Tony Jackson. Oh, there's a smart compressor. Didn't know about that. May need to look into it. I 
I get my emails from all over the place, from the internet, from friends, from sample packs. Uh, some of them I make myself. So I take the raw amen break. I process it with EQing, compression, saturation, dynamic control, and you have a new amen. All right, we're going to do the next giveaway. So we're going to be giving away chromophone. I know you guys are excited about this one. So chromophone as well as the sound pack and trap drive. And to win this pack, I'm going to ask you to post a piano emoji. Okay, piano emoji for the Chromaphone 3, Trap Drive, and the Lo-Fi Sound Pack. So fire it up. Just a reminder, guys, even if you guys don't win, Trap Drive is available as, as a free plugin, well, for free with any purchase in April. So, this is what I was using on. Well, let's see how it sounds over the Amen. I'm really curious about that. This might destroy the Amen, but we'll see. Oh, actually, nice. It's You got to be subtle with it, but that's a nice crunch to it. Type, these are the different distortion algorithms. Let me just bring the output down. So the mount is the mount of drive. Once again, distortion adds more presence without increasing the gain. Once you do proper gain, gain staging, that is. I must say, I like the results. Maybe not for an Amen though, but it's a nice exercise to see how it responds. Amens are nice source material to test out your distortion plugins because there's so much content frequency material there that you can really push that distortion and see how each frequency range responds and I quite like how this sounds but once again we don't need it on the amen for now this is a lo-fi tune <laughs> So we can make it switch from lo-fi to hip-hop. I mean, lo-fi to jungle. So mute the aim in here. if we can do a quick little arrangement going from lo-fi to jungle which version do you like more lo-fi or jungle
love that. I might even add that here. I love that kick edit. So we can add it here. This is what I love about programming lo-fi lo with the swings. You can do some pretty cool drum rolls. So you can do like a double snare here. Well, like that. fun genre to mess with of course we can roll the A in it jungle part I probably added 808 instead of the acoustic bass so we can pull in a sampler and I'll drop in an 808 yeah that's that's good so this is an E make sure it's set to the right root note Let's add some trap drive to it. few authors so I can hear the melody. Yep, that's the note.
Hey, that was the beat. That was the beat. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing me make some uh, lo-fi and then making it into jungle. Congrats to Mike Wezelik for winning the first draw. Smart EQ, Trap Drive, and Spring Lo-Fi Bundle. ADSR, I will be in contact with you. And once again, all the plugins I'm using today are available on the online shop on ADSR, and they are on sale through April 7th. And a lot of these plugins are have a big sale up to 90%. So check out the online shop for more details on the pricing. Once again, I was using Chromophone 3, which is uh, over here. So it's on sale for $99, usually is $200. And then I was using Smart EQ. So that was the AI based EQ. They call it the Intelligent Equalizer. It's currently available for $49. Regular place, a regular price is $129. So big deals here. And of course, Drop, drop Drive, you can get it for free as a gift with any purchase this month. So check it out. I actually quite was impressed with the results. There's tons of distortion plugins there and some are hit or miss and this one I was quite impressed I liked the results that it it result it the results with the aim and as well as with the the drum bus and 808 so nice little tool and and very simple to use I like the interface on this and you can get it for free so why not um, and then there are the sound packs so these packs some of them contain six packs in the entire bundle so this the one I used today was the lo-fi bundle so you got six packs for 20 bucks and I was using some of the drum hits I was well all the drum hits today I were I got from the packs here as well as that piano loop so some really nice textures and drum sounds if you're after that lo-fi sound so check out the lo-fi pack a bunch of other packs on sale as well so check it out also congrats to winner number two so fireball takes home the chromophone three trap drive and the spring lo-fi bundle and once again adsr will be in contact with you congrats to both winners today thank you for sending the emojis always love to see engagement in the live chat it's nice to communicate and engage with you and make beats with you guys so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make some lo-fi and into some jungle. So future lo-fi jungle beats, says ADSR. So we're always trying new stuff here and, and pushing the boundaries. So I, I quite enjoyed this. And once again, the key to making lo-fi, well, one of the main keys is find a nice groove. So depending on DAW, you, you may have to use swing. So swing is a important tool if you're using fl studio then you have to increase the swing but with ableton they more use what what's called groove profiles which is a way around swing they provide different kind of grooves which essentially are swing profiles so that's one of the essentials and then finding a nice melodic loop finding some nice dirty drum hits then adding some rc20 for that lo-fi vinyl noise that's the not so secret sauce that everyone uses today and it's fun to play with and then we got one into some jungle i added some amens and some 808s and once again notice how using that chrome that smart eq it really was it it was intelligently able to detect a eq profile to provide more balance to my aim and so that was quite nice to see So really nice tool, smart EQ, and then of course Chroma, Chroma Phone. This is a physical modeling synth. And shouts out to anyone that was producing back in the early 2000s. Does anyone remember Lounge Lizard? That was one of my favorite plugins because it's one of the only plugins that could reproduce the electric piano or what's called the Rhodes or Wurlitzer. And the company that made Lounge Lizard, Lounge Lizard is uh, Applied Acoustic Systems, or AAAS. A and they, they are the producers for this plugin, Chromophone 3, which does physical modeling 
There's some pretty crazy science happening here using resonators to almost replicate real life organic sounds. So sounds that you wouldn't normally be able to reproduce with a subtractive synth you can do with Chromophone 3. And I like how the engine works with the double resonators and two voices. We didn't explore the two voices today, but you could layer two different sounds to create two, well, create a new sound. So that's pretty cool. So really powerful synth and very unique and I encourage you guys to check it out. And of course there was Trap Drive, which we added on the drum bus, added some warmth to our drum bus as well as the 808 and Amen and nice simple tool. So some pretty cool tools and some pretty cool sales on the ADSR online shop. So check it out. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me today. I thank you for everyone that tuned in to watch me make lo-fi, lo-fi jungle on the ADSR channel. And once again, my name is Stranger. I do drum and bass and or dance music videos on YouTube. You can check me out on my channel. You can just search for a Stranger. It's out there on the title, pretty easy to find. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, SoundCloud, Facebook, uh, Spotify. I'm, I'm on all the major platforms. Check me out. I'm always putting out new content on different platforms. And my goal here is to demystify music production so that anyone can approach music today. So that is my goal. And you can find me on my channel on YouTube. I put videos out once a week and I've been doing videos with ADSR once a week as well. So hit me up. Uh, always love to hear from you. But other than that, just want to thank everyone for joining today. Had an awesome stream and I hope, wish you guys luck with your production. And until then, we'll see you at the next video. Peace.